What's up, guys, and welcome back to Earth Zero. I'm your host, Black Nick, and thank you so much for tuning in, guys. So we're about to react to the Rebel Moon Part 2 trailer. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. I honestly was not a fan of the first film. Um, I don't know what it was about the film. Like, you know, uh, everyone was like, oh, the critics say this. So usually I, when the critics say something, I always have a different opinion, but... When I watched this movie, it just felt weird, dude. Like, there was bad pacing moments. There was just parts where it was just boring. The action was annoying me with the slow motion Zack Snyder stuff. I don't know. It was just like, I just think because everyone was saying it's his version of Star Wars, I had these standards, and all he brought to me was basically, like, what Zack Snyder usually does in his films, like, you can just tell, like, this is a Zack Snyder film, and it just wasn't impressive, it wasn't like, oh, uh, wow, you know, but anyway, that was just me personally, I don't have anything against Zack Snyder, I love the Snyder cut, but at the same time, it's like, why does he need four hours of a film, because I'm hearing that Rebel Moon Part 1 as like a director's cut, and I'm like, bruh, wasn't it released on like, uh, you know, uh, what's it, a streaming platform, so why the hell do you need a, like, a, a little cut somewhere, it's like, I thought streaming platforms just allow you to drop your full, complete, completed movie, compared to the cinemas that have like, you know, they need that time cut, because people can't sit there for that long, you know, but it's just always weird. Zack Snyder always has director's cuts for, like, everything. And it's just like, why does he need four hours to explain a full movie? And I, when you when, when you watch Rebel Moon and then they did that whole recruiting scene, you could just tell that those parts were super rushed, dude. But at the same time, it's just like, why does he need four hours to completely tell us his stories? Like, why can't he just do it in two hours? Anyway, so I just wasn't a fan. I'm still letting it fully flesh out. I, I really want to see the full version of part one. Maybe I'll change my mind. But let's see what part two is going to be like. Ooh, lightsabers now. A lot more lightsabers. Your nightmare is you and I fighting together. You can always just tell this is Zack Snyder. You cannot win. I feel like part two is gonna have all that action, but this has just got that general Zod Man of Steel vibes to it. You're Those here. ships. Because there is nothing to return to. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Dark days. Lie ahead of us all. Oh, yeah. We will teach you how to fight. I finally villages. That's impressive. At least like it's coming together with the pieces. The some of the nothing. characters I was just those thinking like why did they show us those characters? But at least we're seeing more. I of should them. destroy them. So I'll just hope that I have no choice. This this fight. robot dude's my favorite character in the actual thing, dude. Hey, hey, that was a Zack Snyder team. Let's go, give us some. Oh yes. Are you truly prepared? Oh yes. So, like I said, guys, um, you know, I just hope 
this has all the pieces coming together they're gonna show us like everything put together um it looks very action-packed the action looks good i'm not gonna lie but um it's just a story i just i don't know if he's gonna fully flesh out everything from the first story that needs i mean from the first part that needs you know to be fully fleshed out and um i just hope yeah this story is just good otherwise it's just gonna be what Zack snyder is good at throwing a lot of action in your face and then having such random stories or just random <laughs> random stuff where people always say like no he's one of those directors where you have to unlock the codes in his movies and everything and i'm just like oh, dude like in this time and age like there's like people have seen that so many times and you have to do it the right way you can't just be like oh yeah i was trying to reference this from the bible and this from the bible and you know trying to, you know like in batman versus superman where they're doing all these bible references and the son of man and all of that kind of stuff dude and i was just like oh, dude like this is a kids movie this is pg-13 you're trying to appeal to kids and you're busy out here putting encoded messages into your movie and the funny part is that for them to understand the full movie they need to watch three hours of it dude no. so anyway i just hope this story fully fleshes out the first part the action looks much better than the previous one doesn't look like they use a lot of slow motion scenes like the previous one um and that's what i like usually about part twos of like movies that start off a bit you know shaky because part two usually you know is better like there's more action everything's like you know going down so i hope that's good but also there might be a little bit of a storyline in there that i hope is good as well you know so we'll have to see guys honestly like i said i'm not a Zack snyder hater uh, just some of his movies just you know just miss it by far dude and some of the stuff he says you know you just question sometimes like is this guy actually a director <laughs> but anyway um i'm not gonna say anything until this comes out tell me what you guys think in the comment section below thanks for watching